Hello, everybody. Wednesday, March 7th, 2012. Welcome to the show. I'm Michael Eckford. And I'm Fiona Flores. We've got a great one coming up Tuesday. Still can't believe that the clocks spring forward this weekend. I'm so excited about that. Mind blown. Yes. Uh, and tomorrow, a little precursor, just a little taste of what is to come, uh, because it's supposed to get up to, uh, what is it, 12, Can you 13? Can make this gesture? 12, 12 13, 12, 13 <laughs> degrees tomorrow. Uh, let's have a look outside right now as we stand in Coal Harbor, beautiful Vancouver on the West Coast. You know what? Canada. Any day that's Middle not overcast. raining, I say yes. I love living here. Look at the mud flats on that park. Yes. That's how you can tell spring is on its way. Summer soon to follow. Spring, March 21st. It's a full moon tomorrow. We're all gonna die. Yeah. Someone else mentioned that today as well. Uh, here and in the other office, and and just everybody gets a little. I, I used to think that you were a witch because you used to believe in this. You thought that the full no, moon... No, not in past tense. I totally believe in this. I'm starting believe to believe this. that people go completely squirrely on or around the full moon. I'm starting... And to it's quote not... my mother, if... No, oh, are you mocking my mom? No, I'm not mocking your mom. Whoa, no. whoa, I'm mocking whoa, whoa, you. Whoa. I'm mocking you mocking your mom. If the Does planets control it? the oceans, which are made of water, it's no surprise they have control over us. You see, I don't feel like, like personally, I don't think it affects me. But the problem is, I'm surrounded by crazy people who think that it affects them. No, thereby Michael, affecting me. You don't think it affects you? It doesn't affect me. What happens to me near a full moon? You get, you, you get a little squirrely. No, I, I just. I don't know. A little bit. Anyway, like Let's I say, monitor. we're going to monitor I get you for because, the next 24 hours. Well, but I get squirrely because y'all get squirrely. I haven't been. No, I think you are. Uh, last night, the Vancouver Canucks were a little squirrely. Uh, in other words, by squirrely, I mean they were filled with suck. Uh, I know, and you know what? Boring. Yeah, they are struggling through uh, a doldrums, would be putting it lightly right now. They'll Zach get Cassian gets a penalty shot early in the game. Can't convert, unfortunately. Feel a bit bad for the do kid. Do we hate but, Dallas? Hey. Like, do we? Are they hated and detested, or just hated and or detested? Uh, I kind of am met on them. Can't stand Steve Ott. Uh, he kind of drives me crazy. He's a totally cheesy player. Yeah. Uh, Mike Ribeiro, guy's got game. He got the first star last night. I don't hate them yet. But if we Give are to meet time. them, if we are to meet if them in the first round of the playoffs, hatred is soon to follow. Playoffs? Can you believe that that's pretty soon too? I uh, yeah, can't believe like it. A couple of months? Okay. Uh, no, not even that. A month and a half. I think so, six weeks. Uh, the Bachelor, uh, the uh, Women Tell All, was on Monday, and Courtney. I just watched it last night. Yes. Well, you saw the scene where Courtney was bawling, trying to apologize, and she she spoke. And let's just have a Courtney moment first. I got the rose. I do modeling. modeling. Not just winning, of course, she took her top off and uh, had his heart right away, plus a whole lot more. It wasn't the top, it was the full the full nude. Just oh, I was up. talking like when she was doing the thing I'm not going to do right now, shaking her money makers, no, <laughs> shall I, we? Hmm. <laughs> no, what did, what did anyway, she do again? Anyway, Courtney, by the way, spoke in the past tense on the final rose, and it Said is she all didn't a mean flutter to, on yeah. the internet that she broke, she didn't mean to break Ben's heart, that she cared for him in the past tense. So everybody's yeah. saying that something happened, perhaps he proposed and she denied, perhaps, perhaps she dumped him. Have you gone to that website where or, the guy who always gets it right, uh, it, has he said anything? I, I'm he's totally getting sued, so I don't. I don't know. Oh, I haven't looked at that. Sued. But what may be very telling that it didn't work out, no matter what, are these three photos taken over one weekend of Ben with three different women. So I gotta say, whatever it is, well, I don't know. Obviously, the one on the far right is his mom, and he's just saying hi. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, maybe not. Oh, bum yeah. cupping? Is that yeah. how you and your mom <laughs> no. say hi? No. Bum I'm cupping? Not saying that. I'm just saying obviously he's with three different women. <laughs> Go, Bala. Uh, you know, men with bobs. Discuss. Really? Oh, Does anything weird... ever good come out of it? And no offense to the guys with bobs out there, but please cut yeah. your hair. Um, men with bobs, not attractive. Well, and it's just, it's not a... It's so page boy. Believe me, I am not a sophisticate. I am not a sophisticated person, but it doesn't say grown up when no. you see a guy that has like the, the Bob, weird thing. mullet, hair like Polly D, not interested. I was just talking uh, today to someone about doing a 
radical change to my hair. And, what would and you do? I can't say, but stay Mike, tuned for that. Mike, grow a bob. You'll I be will a hit not be with good. the lady. I'm going to part it in the middle and just let it drape down my face. And uh, the other big me. news that knocked Ben and Courtney off the cover of the tabs is Snooky Snookerson. That's right, Snickers is with pickles. She is going to ah, be the giving Messiah birth. Ah, the Messiah is on the way. The savior Here's... of mankind now, in Snooky's belly. you have a few children. Yes. Explain something to me. Yes. How well, Fiona, on earth? the pistol goes in the stamen and... How on earth? Stamen? Is that what you're calling uh, it these Those days? are flowers. So I, was using, I was using science to explain. Okay, sorry. What is your question? How is it going to get out of there? <laughs> I, you know what? Probably pretty easily. <laughs> probably, Good point! Probably without a great deal of... I don't know and I don't want to get sued, but I'm, I'm just I saying know. that the possibility of exit is... is She's going to be in a bank lineup, and we're going to see it on one of those shows. I didn't know I was pregnant. Wouldn't it be awesome, though, like, in all honesty, if she gave birth to the, the person, male, female, that just kind of solves the world's problems? Maybe they solve hunger. Are you talking about the second coming? Well, no, I'm not talking about any sort of religious context. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be weird if she gave birth to the kid, like, global warming? Or... Mike, I just think it's weird she's giving birth. Yeah. How is that going to happen? But maybe the Jägermeister and DNA combined to, like, Spider-Man, right? Yeah. Like, Spider-DNA. She'll have, the child will have superpowers. Yeah. Metabolizing alcohol well, will be a dream to parenting it. Parenting will be interesting to watch as well. And I'm sure... Mommy drinks because you cry. I'm sure we will be watching it, and that's the crazy thing about this world that okay. we're all living in, is that is going to be a show. The whole birth process, Snooky being Let's a mom. Let's not hope in the be birthing watching. room. It's like teen mums, but legal drinking age, right? <laughs> same idea, same level okay. of neglect. We have but a great show, but booze. first, every now and then we find a picture on the internet that's representative of our relationship here, and here is today's. <laughs> I got the rose. The pistol is in the stamen, people. <laughs> yeah, that's We're right. going to take a break, and when Good we thing return, Bro Jake and the morning team are going to be here, which includes this guy, so he's going to be on the other side of the couch, so don't go away.